Hello and welcome friends. I hope you all will be fine. Today is lecture four in which we will discuss different examples of monosaccharides. So let's start today's lecture. First of all, we will, we will discuss about ribose and deoxyribose. These are very important monosaccharides. Ribose and deoxyribose are five carbon compounds which are also known as pentose sugar as pentose denotes five carbon and these are found in RNA and DNA which is very important biomolecules. Ribose which occurs in RNA and co in different coenzymes is a normal sugar with one oxygen atom at each carbon atom. So ribose is a normal sugar which have one oxygen atom at each carbon atom. We know that ribose contains five carbon. So all these five carbon contain one oxygen atom. While deoxyribose, which is found in DNA, is a modified sugar. As it lacks one oxygen atom at carbon number two. That is why it is also known as deoxy because deoxy uh, means the removal of oxygen. In case of deoxyribose, which is found in DNA, this oxygen lacks at carbon number two. So this difference of one oxygen atom is very important for those enzymes that recognizes both DNA and RNA as an individual entity. So we already discussed about ribose and deoxyribose. Let's see figure one. This is deoxyribose and this is ribose. We first discussed about ribose that all the carbon atoms contain one oxygen atom in a and as it is a normal sugar found in ribose. So this is carbon one. It is it contain one oxygen. It is carbon two. It is uh, it contain another oxygen. This is carbon three. This is carbon four. So all the carbons contain normal oxygen atom, which is a normal sugar found in ribose. The uh, deoxyribose we already discussed that it is a modified sugar. It it lacks one oxygen at carbon number two. So this is carbon number one. This is the difference between ribose and deoxyribose. This is carbon number two. And we, we, we see here they, that it lacks one oxygen atom. So it is uh, because of the lack of this oxygen, it is also known as deoxyribose. So this is the difference between ribose and deoxyribose. That ribose is a normal sugar, while deoxyribose is a modified sugar as, as it lacks one oxygen atom at carbon number two. Next one is xylose and xylulose. Xylose, the molecular formula is given C5H10O5. Xylose comes from a Greek word which means uh, xylon, which means wood because xylose was first isolated from wood. So it is known as wood sugar also. Xylose is a monosaccharide of aldopentose type. It, it contains five carbon and has aldehyde functional groups. We discussed aldose and ketose in very detail in lecture one so you can watch that lecture i will add description link in this video so aldopentose means uh, it contains aldehyde functional group and pentose mean it have five carbon atoms so our xylose is aldopentose xylose is the building block of xylan xylan is a group of hemicellulose which is the third most abundant bio polymer a biomolecule on earth and it is found in plants. So this is all about xylose. Next is xylulose. It have the same molecular formula as xylose but the difference is the functional group. It is also a monosaccharide of 
keto pentose type so keto means it have ketone functional group a pentose it have five, five carbon atoms xylulose is the intermediate product in uric acid pathway uric uric acid is a sugar acid and this pathway is an alternative pathway for the metabolism of glucose so xylulose is the intermediate product in uric acid pathway you can see here in figure 2 the d xylulose and d xylose you can see here this is xylose and the next one is xylulose both are five both are five carbon atoms this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 this is carbon 3 this is carbon 4 this is carbon 5 but the difference is between uh, the difference is the presence of functional group in xylose the functional group is aldehyde in xylulose the functional group is ketone group so this is the basic difference between xylose and xylulose next one is d glucose it is very important monosaccharide it have the formula of C6H12O6. It is a hexose, sugar hexose means it has six carbon atoms and the most abundant monosaccharide present. D glucose is a short form of dextro rotatory, and dextro rotatory we know is a form of isomers, which we discussed in lecture three in very detail. Glucose is made by plants and algae by the process of photosynthesis. We know that in photosynthesis processes, plants use carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light to make sugar named glucose. It is used to make cellulose. Cellulose is the component of cell wall in plants and it is the most abundant carbohydrates present. Glucose is the most important source of energy in all organisms. So all organisms use glucose as a source of energy. It is partially stored as a starch in plants and as glycogen in animals. And these both can use it in times of need. Next, glucose circulates in blood of animals and it is known as blood sugar and it exists both in cyclic and acyclic form. We already discussed in the previous lectures about um, glucose, so we will short review its structure again. This is the figure three. This is the Fisher pro projection. Fisher projection is the linear structure, and this is Hayward projection. This is the cyclic uh, structure. So glucose is a hexose, it, as you know that it have six carbon so this is six carbon this is d glucose because the oh group on carbon five is present at, at the right side this is uh, uh, when the uh, linear structure convert into the cyclic structure so it is a uh, um, it has two types one is alpha or next and then another is beta form so this one is beta gluco pyranose pyranose we know that is thought that ring which contain five carbon and pivura furanose is that ring which contain four carbon. So it is in beta glucopyranose OH on C1 is up. So this is carbon one. When the OH here at carbon one is on the upper side, it is known as beta glucopyranose. And when this OH on carbon number one is on the lower side, it is known as alpha glucopyranose so this is all about d glucose next one is d mannose d mannose is also a hexose and have the same formula as glucose it is a c2 e power of glucose and is obtained prior from hydrolysis of plant manon manon is a polysaccharide found in plants and gums gums is also a complex carbohydrates polymers which is found in plants and also as a constituent of many glycoproteins glycoproteins is when carbohydrates and proteins combine it makes glycoproteins so meno manose is the epimer of glucose we already discussed it in lecture three so you need to watch it watch out lecture three in full detail 
So next one is the D-galactose. Galacto, D-galactose is also an EP-marab glucose and it is a C4 EP-marab glucose and is obtained from lactose. Lactose is a disaccharide found in milk. D-galactose serves as energy, so this is important. And it can change to glucose in the liver and involve in different metabolic processes. So galactose change in the liver into glucose, which helps in the different metabolic processes. Galactose is synthesized in the memory glands to make milk lactose. So in the mem memory glands, galactose is synthesized and it helps in making milk lactose. It is also a constituent of glycolipids and glycoproteins. So galactose also combined with lipids and proteins to make glycolipids and glycoproteins. This is figure four in which uh, you see this is glucose. We already know that galactose and mannose are epimers of glucose. Mannose is epimer at carbon number two and galactose is epimer at carbon number four. So you can see these three have the same formula and same structure except at carbon number two at mannose. You can see here the configuration of H and OH is different than here at glucose. And here at, in galactose, the configuration of OH and H is different than found in glucose, you can see here. So these are both are important EPMRs of glucose. This is all about different examples of monosaccharides. Thank you for watching.